Right, well, I guess we should ask, is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 um, okay, it's testing, testing. Um, I guess I, uh, hopefully I'm live, but we'll find out. So if you're tuning in, um, hi, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, apparently we're live. Guess we should ask. There yeah, we go. <laughs> All right. So far, it's looking good on my end from yep. my phone. Yep. Yeah. It's um, it's just showing uh, that screen. So, uh, welcome everyone to uh, some realistic convoying tonight. Or Zach and I try and be realistic most of the time. Sometimes it doesn't always work out. I know it's weird like that, isn't it? Right, so um, Zach, I'm going to add the 90s Corporation truck uh, to, um, the, I guess, the very bottom of the list, it looks like. Um, That's what I did, and I kept all my optional mods yep. on Fabulous. top. So if I do that. Um, and if you don't include the real Eaton Fuller, I should be able to join with no issues. Great. I don't know. I don't think I... I guess I'll find out. I, I may have included that, so um, this could be a very short conversation. I have to go back out and change it, but we'll we'll see. Hey, sweetie, you want to say hello to the world? <laughs> I was working on a truck today for your for your truck driving lesson with a trailer. Does it look like a issue? Um, I I I was just working on the, the mechanical spec, not the color. Oh, okay. I have to announce to the world that my good lady wife got some cow hide colored shoes today, but they were green. So maybe they're vegan cows. Probably just upset. I mean, they eat grass, so they technically I, are vegan. I know, right? Technically, eating steak is vegan since cows eat grass. We've probably just upset about 3% of the world. <laughs> I shouldn't upset the vegans. Vegans are fine. It's just when they get up in your face about it. Oh, and a lot of people do it for the wrong reasons, too. Yeah. Yeah, they they do. Because I know some vegans <clears throat> and like, they really don't care. Like if you eat meat around them or whatever, yeah. they literally don't care. You know, they just do their own thing. That's how they should be. I, I can understand that if sometimes people are, are upset by, okay, so I, I'm British. I live in Texas. I like my steak. I guess the term is blue or, or bloody. And I understand if people, yes. if people don't like to see that, I completely get it. So I will try and remember to say, hey, do you mind if I have a rare? Uh, and if someone does, that's okay. I'll 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 just have it differently. Uh, apparently, it's processing mods. Hey, convoy is being created. Apparently, convoy is created. So, um, what could possibly go wrong? Let's see how it's... Oh, we're about to find out. I know, right? I might have to jump out and just remove it, Eaton Fuller, but we'll we'll see. We'll see what it does on my end first. Hopefully you've got the right version of the corporation truck as well. See, I know I downloaded the latest version before. Um, okay, it's processing some mods. Okay, well, it, it, I don't think it gets that far if it doesn't let, so hopefully we're... Hopefully it's, um, it's working great. Alright, let me see which version... Did it? Did it not not work? Yeah, it's a '90s corporation truck. I might have an older file still on here. Oh, I I may also. Let me don't. Let me check before you back out. Okay. If it's optional, um, I can remove it and you can add it if you see what I mean. Yeah. Okay. I have a uh, version 4.1. Uh, let me check my mods folder. See if I can tell here. Oh, excuse me. Okay, jumping in it. Looking at the underlying files, so mod description, what have I got? Um, 
time. I guess it's manifest. I've got 2.0, it, it looks like. Oh, yours is a little out of date. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, let me go ahead and um, let us me back out and I'll, I'll up update it. Everything else seems to be fine, though. Then it has the optional mods listed and ready to go, so... Yeah. Okay. Well, it's been a while since I've downloaded this, so... Luckily, it's not too big in the file size. Yeah, I think mine was like 250 megabytes, so... That's, uh... It's not so bad. Like, three minutes for me, 20 seconds for you. Uh, possibly. <laughs> we'll we'll see. And luckily, I conveniently put a link to the descript to the mod in the description. So if I were able to access that, which I may have to do something a different way. Um, 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 so we'll go here because it th th this one's not on the Steam Workshop, I don't think, is it? It is not. Yeah, that's perfect. I wish it was, but it's not. Hey, but that's that's okay. Now, this is by the other Corey, I think. Uh, no, it's not on the first page there. Okay. I'm browsing the uh, SES um, forum right right now. I got you. And I don't see it. Hmm. The download link. Oh, I, I don't see the... Okay, found it now. I know download links on those SCS forums are so freaking hidden most of the time. I was mistyping Corporation, I think. That's why I couldn't find it. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Alright, so... I've I know I've downloaded this before, but... Um, dun, dun, dun. Download. Oh, it's actually gotten bigger. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, I love it when the website says, this is a genuine download, honest. It's like, yeah, no. <laughs> still... I know, it's like, okay, which of these five download buttons is the real one? Right. Yeah, and I've learned, uh, you know, always wait a few a few seconds when you, when you click download, because um, sometimes, just sometimes, uh, it, right when you're about to click it, an advert pops up and you click the advert. I know, then it takes you to three different app stores, and then yep. and it sells your soul. It's a world of no for me. Thanks very much there. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and remove that. I can hear a, a bad cat being bad from the other room. From from here, could you believe it? Uh, Meow. Yeah, I know, right? Right, so I've got the, got the latest one. Let's go ahead and copy that there. Let's go back here. Right. So, ended up changing the file name. That's fine. Right. We should be back on in two shakes of a jiffy. And, which, actually, a jiffy is a British uh, measurement of time. Or it's it's a computer measurement of, of time. Hmm. I believe back in the 8-bit days, a jiffy was the smallest increment of time that the Commodore 64 could measure. And I think it was maybe 1 30th of a second. Or maybe it was 1 40th. All I know is this a cornbread mix. Dang. I didn't even know that. All right. I am attempting to rehouse the convoy, and wow, it's put me right back in. I guess it... It cached the fact that we just um, just did the convoy, so great. Hopefully, we'll let you in, sir. Hopefully, it'll show, and that was pretty much the only mod. Oh, uh, you you saw the real Eaton Four, don't you? Mm -mm. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only for a few seconds. Oops. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and remove that. Nah, it's fine. It's it's not like you asked me right a few minutes ago and I just completely forgot. I completely forgot too. You're fine. Okay, so I'll just remove... So we don't have any of the mod... No, we don't. Okay. All right. 
let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, take three, I believe. Waiting for it to sign me in. Okay, yeah, we know about that. That's fine. jump back in the game. I was um, running a, a trip with the, that cream colored Mac that we finished the last convoy in um, with a, oh, yeah. a DD60 under the hood. Okay, convoy is now up. All right. Hopefully it will let you back in. Okay, it's giving me the option to activate session mod, so I'm going to do that and see what it does. Just to forewarn you, it started raining in the in the game. Oh, great. Yeah, I know, right? I guess let me just check my rain settings whilst, whilst we wait. I, I don't mind the rain that, that much, but <clears throat> not all the time. Yeah. Uh, 28%. I'm going to make that maybe 15. Um, that, that should uh, should stop it. Okay. Alright, now I just need to reactivate my optional mods. It's doing that weird bug again where it won't let me go back to the profile selection screen after doing activate session mm. mods. So I gotta force quit the game. That is weird. And there's, I mean, there are fewer quirks in the game than there were a, a time ago, but there's still a few. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna buy me a used Volvo with almost 600,000 miles on the clock. Another one as well. 425,000 miles on the clock. That's interesting. So if you're watching the stream, the reason why I am uh, buying old Volvos and restoring them is um, I want to use up some of my cash because I, I, the game is a little too easy um, and I really don't like to have millions in, in the bank because then you, you don't appreciate what happens when you wreck. And obviously I don't wreck much. <clears throat> uh... I don't cause as much d damage to my truck as... as, as I, I crash more than you, Zach, but but I don't <laughs> don't rank that much. All right, I'm just gonna take out Real Eaton Four. I don't know why it's not. Is it not? Let me join with it. I don't have it. Yeah, even the though. optional. That's weird. I mean, I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it's it's so bizarre that that's the one mod that seems to cause the issues. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Alright, do you feel like doing some older trucking? Uh, you know what, it doesn't matter, we can do whatever we feel like. Well, that's why I wanted to run this truck. I figured. So, let me see. Hmm. Fetching sessions. I got a I got a session you can fetch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run a, a an older engine. I'm gonna run a thermodyne, um, two fifty horses and seven hundred foot pounds of torque. That's that's going to be a bit of a slug. So we'll give it extra short gearing. I guess I'm extra short right here. No, well, I bet you do. <laughs> 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 so do I, but she's in the other room. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Matoa, you said that. Yeah. 
have some someone take a note of 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 what time I'm saying this on the stream. We can we can let her know afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like I can deny everything, right? So, 250 horsepower and just 701 foot-pounds of torque. That sounds great. <laughs> Very great. Yeah. It won't be so bad. I could pl plug that up next to an auto if I felt like it. Which I think I will. Because I think I'm going to struggle otherwise. <laughs> I suppose um, by the way I would imagine this is uh, low powered engine automatic so it might be um, an oil a former oil company truck or it might be a maybe a, a, a farm truck or a yard truck yeah perhaps that's that's why it's like that so we'll give it a real um, I, don't know, I guess a basic color maybe maybe just white are you in a Houston? Um, or po Galveston? Possibly. Uh, it's the one that. Yeah, you're in Houston. Okay. I, yeah, I, I don't. I, I couldn't tell you. All right. The most basic of basic trucks is just about ready. So it has a has the auto. Damage. Oh, I'm still connected to that. Um, uh, what is it? It's a deep drop tank with twice the with the ability to carry twice the weight. So that'll be a challenge. Oh yeah. Well, that looks nice and white. It is. That's what she said. So that's um, oh, that's the mid mid roof, is it? Yes, sir. And it's a single axle. Oh, oh, that well, that is new because I, I don't remember seeing that. Um, I guess I'll dismiss my trailer because I don't think I'll be needing it. <clears throat> uh, would you like to pick the first job tonight? What do you feel like doing? Um, let's see what we got in the cargo market, or the freight market. check how much fuel I've got but I don't know whether there's a fuel station here here so it might not matter <laughs> well, I've got a papa tank which I'm sure is plenty actually it's not plenty because it's a it's the small tank model hmm Given I'm running a single axle, I got 33,912 pounds of dynamite from Houston to Junction, 300 something miles. Oh, what could possibly go wrong with us hauling dynamite? That that sounds perfect. I know. All right. You gotta respond to the text real quick. Is she pretty? <laughs> Funny enough, it actually yes. Which case maybe no, it's a it's one of my friends that's getting hired on with us at FedEx. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, got her a job there. Yay. All right, we go pick up this load. Giggity. <laughs> It'll be fine. I'm kind of used to, to driving the the slower trucks, so. Yeah, you definitely should be. Right. I think I can, I can make it in front of this this guy. Now, is it realistic not to stop at a at a stop sign? Yes. <laughs> I think it is. 
last minute line changes is also realistic and, and it, th did I mention I, I live near Dallas so that might put things into perspective a little <laughs> just to accidentally move forward on, on a red light, but I'm not going to. John, how are you doing, sir? John messaged us on YouTube. It might have been a while ago, but I, I wasn't paying attention because I'm the worst. Hopefully, um, you're a little closer to your new, new build, John. Oh, heck yeah. So wanted to go through this red light, but I'm I'm not going to. I'm going to be a good boy. Oh come on! And it's been at least eight seconds. Why haven't you gone to green? Following the GPS. Yep. I, I, I see ya. Beautiful sunrise. Oh, that is pretty. Alright, so we're doing about 1800 revs at 55. I think I'm at 1500, like right at 65. Yeah, I'll be like 2100 or 65, but th this was how they used to run the old trucks. So you didn't have cruise control, you had a limiter or a governor. Yeah. <clears throat> but not the sort of governor that's like, oh, he gav. <laughs> Different kind of governor. Now I'm guessing I take this exit. Yeah, I got me a nice kitty cat that likes to rev low. Gotcha. Speaking of nice kitty cats, um, I have not sat down to uh, build that um, 430 horsepower. Was it C12? I think it was. It was. Um, but I saw that and my, my reaction was, whoa, look at the curve on that. And then I realized... <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. And then I realized, wait, wait. Some wives have boring husbands that will be like, look at the boobs on that. No, look at the torque curve on that. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. Now this white SUV nearly wrecked me, and I can't catch up with them to shake my fist at him. I mean, I can try. <laughs> no, he's, he's getting away, so I'll just flash my lights at him in, in, instead. <laughs> yeah, he's getting away from me. Oh well. I even think that the name SUV is just so oxymoronic because there's nothing sporty about them, or most of them. I know, except for like the Durango RT or the. Right. Yeah. Jeep Grand Cherokee with the Hellcat under the hood. Yeah, and then, I mean, I don't know who would buy those cars. Okay, okay, if I had to have an SUV for whatever reason, then I probably wouldn't want something that that I would get. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I can see the target market, but, I mean, why why ruin a Hellcat in, in a big vehicle like that? Why don't you just put it in a charger. I'm just saying. But anyway. Exactly. It, but that might make me sound make out that I'm, I'm just old. But 
I mean, it's... But with all the power that engine makes, if they were to just tune it a little bit differently and build it a little bit differently, that'd be a really good engine for towing, I yeah, think. it would be a fantastic engine for towing. Well, it'd be a good engine for towing. These brakes feel... Feeling horny tonight, aren't you? You weren't voice to text, are you? Huh? You, you you aren't still replying to your text messages using voice to text. Ah, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I'm 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 just uh, I'm just making sure. All right, let me see. I can take. Oh. Can no. Take... When I said you're feeling horny tonight, I meant because you kept honking your horn, or you right. hit a truck and the alarm went off. I. Uh, maybe. I can take a little short trailer. That's only seventeen and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Ooh, I can take a double. Yeah, I might regret that. Let's see. What what is what is the, the double way? Thirty nine thousand. Um, I mean, hopefully you won't leave me behind in the dust. But I'm going to try and take the double. I think. I got a base model thirty four oh six E, so I think our power is pretty comparable. Okay. Are you what three three ten? Yes, sir. All right. I got the RTX 10 speed with the 390s. Okay. Yeah, I'm at 250 horses. Um, and 701. 701 torques. But you're in a probably a much lighter truck than I am, too. True. With a torque converter. And a tandem axle. Yeah, bit bit more friction maybe. It means I could maybe stop better. But well, you're gonna have more traction too. Yeah. So I think what you're saying is we should make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in Texas, so when it rains, it rains proper heavy rain. So maybe the next trip I can crank the rain up to 100%. And we can go through some 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 storms. Oh yeah, I think for this one, let's just, if it rains, it's not me. Promise. All right, I've got the. All right, I trust you. I, I, you'll also be able to watch it, or, or at least you could you could replay it and say you lied to me. All right, <laughs> I've, I've got the cargo. L, this is a double, and um, yay, off we go. Uh, this, uh, I can feel the weight, shall we say. But I've only got 700 foot-pounds of torque, so this is actually doing all right. I mean, there are gas engine pickup trucks with more torque than this. Probably not many, but there are some. I know the uh, new, newest Toyota Tundra with the iForce Max hybrid powertrain, it makes about like 600-something foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, it doesn't... Did, I don't know what the, um, the Ford EcoBoost, is it... Do they call it a Raptor? They're like off-road high powered yeah that's pickup. the raptor yeah but, uh, that's probably got a stack of torque but then again it might not have more than 700 i think if the twin turbo eco boost is like 400 something max yeah which is well either way um there's plenty of Dodge uh, Ram pickup trucks with with more torque than than this, but they're yeah. but they're at Cummins these also. Are we supposed to stop at uh, railroad crossings, by the way? I didn't. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> I didn't. Either. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't sure if if we were supposed to or not, but I didn't. Besides, I think the, the dynamite is evenly spread amongst both of these trailers, so that makes it safer. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the, the weight, you know, like when I get up to 20 miles an hour. My truck's like, there's weight behind this thing? making it lag a little bit, I think. Oh, 
it's a train on the on ramp. I've never experienced this 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 before. It's not on the on ramp. It's the the crossings on the on ramp. That's actually pretty cool. Hmm. Yeah. And somebody just ran into me from behind. <laughs> Don't do it again, sunshine. Don't do it again. Come on, give me a break. I know some people that like to get ran from behind. Right. But not on the on ramp to a free will. But you know what? Never mind, because maybe the two. <laughs> oh, lights off for danger. Okay, so I'm going up this hill in first gear at 15 miles an hour. There we go. And up to second gear. gear at 30, which is, uh, I think it's fourth gear about 40 as well, I think, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, it's super short Just gearing, yes, it's in fourth gear at 38. <laughs> so you're basically in fourth gear from like 39 all the way up to maybe 65, and it won't go any faster. Dang. That's okay. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. There was somebody turning off in front of me. Why am I getting like five frames a second right now? You want me to pull over and let you catch up a little bit? Um, maybe? Or maybe drop a little bit off, off the speed, perhaps. So once I, I, I'll catch up switch to my other monitor and just minimize OBS see if that makes a difference is it it won't be rendering yeah that seems to have made it made a difference oh come on um, so the AI is just crashing into each each other <laughs> not surprising yeah that was that was very it looked like I don't know what was going on there anyway by the way they've, they've resolved it oh, Another red light. Thanks, AI. I suppose it is kind of re realistic. I am uh, unfortunately I wasn't keeping up with with what John was saying. So he's got almost everything on the on the on the motherboard. Each ticket is ten minute plenty. Each ticket is ten minute plenty. I think. I don't know if that's a time penalty when we get tickets. I'm not sure. Hmm. Not sure. I'm still at these lights. I'll go and pull over and let you catch up. Yeah, they've just gone to green, so now I can move off. And there's another light to turn left onto the on ramp, and that's currently red and will be. I have seen people turn left on this red, but I don't know that you can. It's not. I guess it is a one-way street. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I would do it. <laughs> My friend just did DoorDash for Zaxby's, and she did it from the wrong one. The wrong Zaxby. Oh man. She did it from one all the way by the airport. From where we're at, that's a long ways away. Yeah. Well, having um, having ordered grocery shoppings to an address that you were on vac vacation, that's three or four states away, without realizing 
um, what you did, and it was like the full weekly shop, and you're like, oh man, shop grocery shopping is expensive these days. It is. When I mean, you got to do it twice, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, happens. All right, so I, I'm I'm not entirely regretting the heavier cargo, but it it's like. That bridge that you crossed, you probably didn't even realize that there was a bridge there, or that it was a hill, but it's a hill. Okay. I'm finally on the move, so I'm getting up to speed. Just about to hit fourth gear. There we go. So I think um, I'll, I'll manage to catch. with a pack car. Well, I mean, that would be powerful till it broke down, but, yeah. Yeah, it probably wouldn't last more than 300 miles on the trip, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I dare say no one has ever taken the, the, the pack car MX engines and made them into a mechanical, because you probably can't get the parts very easily. Yeah. Though you can't do a full emission system to lean on it, then that'll make it a great motor to run, from what I've heard. There's a guy that owns a, I saw on YouTube, he owns a straight piped uh, T680 with a straight piped MX-13, and it sounds amazing. You, you just don't want to get caught with that though, right? Exactly, that's the problem. I mean, that's, um, I think, is that a criminal offense these days? Did it not change in the last couple of years? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. So where are you? Is this, is this? Yes, this is. This is Houston. Okay. So, I mean, it looks like Houston, but that's not to say that it is. I should have bumped up the traffic for Houston, really, because it's not quiet. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yep, just passing. This road's like my love life right now. It's just empty. Hey, at least it isn't um, throwing you off the road with with tight corners and, and, and big big gradients, right? Right. So I mean, it's empty, but it's also smooth and stable. That is true. I am trying to say glasses half full, but See, the best part about being single, too, is you can stare at all the women you want and not feel bad about it. Oh, is that different when you're married? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be. Different, I mean. Just depends on the girl, I guess. Oh, or guy, because, you know, other genders are, are, are available to marry other than, 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 than girls. Yep. I drove this road back from Houston not that long ago. The the oh, ten. Nice. Um, and it was not as quiet as this. Let's just say. Oh, it's raining again, and there's a way station up here. I did not do the way station thing. Come on, come on, move, move over, you chump. That's quite realistic then. Well, it's a car riding in the left lane. Um, no, he's next to me, and it's like lanes merge. So I'm using my my, my blinker, lanes merge, and he's like, no, nope, no, nope, I'm going to accelerate. Go drive next to you. Yep. Did you 
get pulled into the way station? I did. Okay. Hopefully I will, because I'd like to know what this this package weighs. <laughs> oh boy, phrasing, I know, I know. I weigh 67,728 pounds. So I'm actually 2,000 pounds overweight, technically, because most single axle trucks are rated for 65,000. Okay. But, total. um, you might have some exemptions with your emissions control equipment, maybe. Though, wait, never mind, you in a 3406E. Yep. I got a bypass. That sucks. Well, I guess this way at least I'll, I'll, I'll catch up with you. The only emissions control, the closest thing to emissions control on this thing is me holding my farts in. <laughs> Does the 3406 not even have an EGR system? Uh, probably not. No, I, I don't think it does because it, it doesn't need, doesn't use def, doesn't uh, doesn't have any of that stuff. I guess that's one of the reasons why it, it's so loved, and so reliable. Yeah, it's in the late nineties. I don't think many engines at all had EG. No, I, I think you're right. Because the Series sixty um, didn't get it at first. It got it later on in life. Same with the MBE 4000, when it first came out, I don't think it had that either. Yeah. I think if I re re remember correctly, when the Series 60 gained EGR, they also played around with the turbocharger. Then they gave it like a variable vane, I think, at the same time. Yeah, they did the same with the MBE. Yeah, MBE, yeah. So I guess they must have realized or decided, hey, we got all these parts around, let's, let's do something cool with them. Maybe. Yep. If the government likes it, then everybody else probably isn't when it comes to the emissions. Sometimes. It's raining for me. It stops for me. Um, I must be going through the, 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 the squall. Hello, officer. Nothing to see. Oh, crap. Nothing to see here. Just a lot, lizard. Nothing to see. No, no. I my my, my passenger seat is is empty. And I'm in a day cab, so there's nothing in the back. Yeah, this rain's getting pretty heavy as well, for me at least. It's gotten so heavy that it's put my automatic wipers into high speed mode. Wow. Hey, no, stop! The rain's coming back. Uh, I haven't touched the, the, the rain, I, I, I promise, but now we're going... No, this is Texas weather for you, so... Yeah, and now we're going through a storm. Well, I guess it's realistic then. Yeah. We're under a potential severe weather warning for Monday and the eclipse. Ah, oh, that's right, another eclipse. I don't even know if we'll be able to see much of it here in Florida. Well, we're kind of in the path, but I'm not going to um, try and stare at the sun. The, the really cool effect will be the fact that it gets dark and the wildlife thinks it's night, goes to sleep and wakes up, but people who have spent thousands of dollars on cameras are going to get way better results than me, so I'm going to watch that bit of it online. Yeah. Was it 149 when they brought in the new skybox, or was it 148? But I don't know what it was. I think it, will, I think it was 48. But it's so pretty. Because <clears throat> I was using an 8K skybox mod, and that looked great. Um, and I don't know whether this skybox looks as good, um, but I don't need a mod for it, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, the Skybox is definitely an improvement either way, so... Oh, yeah, yeah. 
right? I think for me there's that, you know, when you start to add too many mods and it takes a full minute to load your game and you, you, you're loading it from an SSD, I'm like, yeah, maybe I've got one too many mods here. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm at 60 miles an hour. Have been, have I've been at 70 this whole time. <laughs> I've been accelerating since the shoot and I've just reached 60. And uh, I don't think I'm going to go on to 70. Oh, I, I can't. I'm, I think my governor's at 65 ish. Oh, it's actually showing 61 miles an hour. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, my fuel's at uh, just over a quarter. Oh, it'll be fine. truck to squeeze out as much power as you can. Yep. Well, I'm trying to keep up, which... At least it stopped raining, which I'm not going to be able to, but hey, I can try. Yeah, I love it when, when the speed limit goes up to 75, and it's like, yep, yeah, you must be in well, I guess Texas, but it's not just Texas. Yeah. With the, these high speed limits. I have driven along this road as well recently. I'm sure, yes, I think I have. Huh. Good grief, we're almost there. I know. strong motor, I can tell. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's even a at only 12, 50 foot pounds of torque, it pulls like a freight, uh, freight train. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a jam. I know there are lots of people that would really love 
tablet if Caterpillar would get back into the Class A engine game. Uh, oh, that's the problem. They just couldn't make a. At the time, they just couldn't make an engine that was reliable with the emission stuff on it. So they said, "Fuck the government," and, or "Screw the government." They probably lost a lot of left. a lot of money with the with the mess that that, that they had. Um, but yeah, wasn't there like a big uh, class action lawsuit for like reliability issues? T15 excerpt. I, I imagine so. I, there may be more than one. Um, but whereas international managed to stay in the business, kind of, although they've pretty much, well, they they haven't made their own engines for a while. But the thing with Caterpillar is that they still make the engines. That they, um, and the emissions for the off-road stuff is about the same as it is for the on-road stuff these these days. So their engines are, are up to up to par now, I, I believe. But they just don't want yeah, to. It, so. Well, and uh, off-road machines probably not going to be running in, in as much as a on-highway truck too. I may not be able to fast travel when we get to the de to the destination because my fuel's getting a little low. Mine is too. Well, not low, but it's only at, already at half a tank. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm below a quarter, and it's a 140 gallon tank. It's pretty small. <clears throat> I know the tanks in this truck are pretty small too. I can't. Well, maybe I can see you. I think you're stopped at the second light in this little city. I think. I am stopped at one of the light. <sighs> Use me. Yeah, I think I, I think I can see. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, I'm at the ex external view, but yeah, the the left um, turn left lane has just gone to green. <sighs> oh God! It's been a long week. I just worked six days in a row. Yeah, I think you said um, that you've got Sunday off, which tomorrow I think is—is is that right? Yes, sir. It sounds like it's totally needed. I, I tell myself I'm gonna sleep in as late as I want, but I still know my dumb uh, dumb butt's gonna be up by eight o'clock because that's just when my internal clock wakes me up. Yeah, but it, I suppose I like like my alarm. I, I I've given up. It just goes off at the same time every day. Um, it doesn't matter whether it's a weekday or a weekend or or as a holiday, because like like as as you say, I'm gonna wake up. Shortly after, I would normally be up anyway, if if not sooner. So, what's the point in fighting it? That and just knowing when you wake up, you don't have to do anything today. It's just that's a good feeling. It's a really nice feeling. Uh, John, I'm so sorry. I, I'm not looking at the um, YouTube as much, but John says each wreck costs you a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's not a bad game, actually. Well, I mean. I don't have a hundred. John's gonna be yeah, well, I'll say, because if you're if we're if you're giving us money for the wrecks, we're gonna be billionaires so <laughs> we know it. <laughs> Oops, I just bumped into this Prius. Oh, oops, I just backed up into it again. <laughs> is that a hundred dollars? And I'll tell you Huh? Is that is that one hundred dollars or two hundred dollars? I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe three hundred. It could be. But I'll tell you a great feeling though, not having to do anything. It's when you're you wake up like in the middle of the night and you think it's like a weekday or you think you have to work that day then you just your body suddenly remembered oh wait it's the weekend and you just go back to sleep yep <sighs> my favorite time is of that is um like if it's a bank holiday monday and i, and I wake up yeah let, let's let's say it's 4 15 and my alarm's gonna go off at 4 45 and i wake up and like if it's a normal weekday, I'm like, you know, it's not really worth going back to sleep. I'll just feel worse. I, I should just get up. Not yeah, today. <laughs> get up, look at your phone, get some water. Yep. Go take a dump, whatever. See, if I wake up in the middle of the night and use the bathroom, though, I try to keep my eyes shut for as long as I can just so I don't lose tiredness. Mm. 
And usually if I have to pee, that's not a good idea. <laughs> uh, no. Be better off just going in the bathtub than rinsing it out. <laughs> or, or a silent pee, like, as in sink. <laughs> no, I just ate my uh, ding dong to the side of the toilet bowl and then just ate the stream there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We've got a, um, a, I guess it's a nightlight, but it's a very soft, ready pink glow. Um, so I don't have to turn the light on, which is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my grandparents, they got a, it's some kind of nightlight, like you put it in the bowl of the toilet. Oh, yeah. And it lights up the toilet bowl, then it kind of lights up the room a little bit. It's actually really nice. Mm. At first, I thought it was like, what are you going to use that for? Then, you know, whenever I'm down there visiting, it's like, oh, wow, that's actually yeah, it, pretty it nifty. also gives you a target to aim for. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, that's what the skid marks in the toilet bowl are for. Oh, boy. Target practice. Alright, now I'm going to change trucks to go something I, a little more modern. I totally did not take that left turn very professionally. Go, 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 go. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, Dodge. Couldn't yeah. dodge the ram, huh? Oh, that, that would have been... That, that was not very professional of, of me. I was in the wrong lane and I moved to the left lane and I locked up my brakes so I slowed down for the left turn and then yeah if you drive a truck please rate my driving on a scale of minus 5 to, to 10 where minus 5 is no you know what don't rate my driving it, it's terrible I know <laughs> still at least it goes to show that I didn't turn on ABS at least so there is that Yep. I've never been to this quarry in this profile. I haven't either. It surprised me how big it was. I get that all the time. <laughs> And seventy miles. That was a lot less than I thought it was was going to be. I was like, that trip definitely went by a little bit quicker than I thought it would. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's 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 fine. It's not a problem. So let me see. I use fifty five point six gallons of fuel, so that's about five miles per gallon. Which, yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. That's for yeah for an old truck running at the governor. That's really good. Yeah, with um, forty thousand pounds or. Just under forty thousand pounds stuck below me, behind me. Mm, I'm gonna run next. I'm going something more modern. I'm going with a Volvo. I might run a, run a Lone Star. That truck is really growing on me, especially after I've seen a couple in real life now. Yeah. Yeah, it's um. You can get it where it looks really bad. I think. Well, when I say bad, maybe bad's the wrong the wrong term. You, you can get some really garish ones. Um, I I think, but uh, you can get it to look real pretty pretty as as well. Yep. Cause honestly, that truck looks really good in just a single metallic color with a ton of chrome. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, it kind of needs the chrome, I think. Well, it does. Uh, I mean, it it looks odd if it doesn't have it. It's maybe more more accurate. Yeah. But sometimes it looks like a very awkward kid wearing braces. 
Well, I never had braces, but uh, other than that, that sounds uh, exactly like me. Well, I, um, I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> um, you, said, <laughs> you might be being a little harsh on yourself, maybe. Let me see. I think if this if this were a fleet spec, it would be a five hundred horsepower. Sorry, a four hundred horsepower. But we might we might want to up it a little bit. Yeah, I think I think we do. I think the five hundred horsepower um, X fifteen efficiency is a real great engine. It is. Though I've heard um, on a lot of trucking forums that it seems a lot of people that run the efficiency just kind of say the engine can't seem to get out of its own way. If that makes sense. Yes. Yeah. It, it does. I, I'm. I'm sure that it that it's programmed to like try and be incredibly miserly. And so. Whereas the performance just pulls away. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think. And that was probably intentional, just to get people to buy the performance. Yep. Make more money. I would imagine so. Okay. Let's go with that. Question is what 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 wheels go with it? If it's a Lone Star, you probably need some Alco Classics. Hmm. Okay. God, this stock Volvo sound is so nice. So what motor did you go with? Um, went with the X15 efficiency um, 500. Ah, okay. I think, yeah. So I, I, it seems like the, the sensible choice, um, and you can pair it up with super tall, tall gearing. Um, if you, yeah, you can. If if you want to, and it, it's completely fine with it. That's the thing I like about the X15. You can just you can pair that with almost any kind of gearing you want, and it'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, I went with a an Eaton Endurant. Um, I think with a 325 was what I went. It it, it could take a taller um, gearbox, but uh, I think I'll just go with that. I'll do, I'll double check what I went for in just a second. Yep, I want a chrome tank because we want a chrome tank. We really want chrome everywhere. Try to make this Volvo look as basic as it can get. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm I'm kind of kind of going the opposite. Say so I went with a base twelve four oh five D thirteen turbo compound and mm. a super tall I shift I torque. That's yeah, but see. As long as you don't expect it to be a racing machine, that's going to be a really pleasant drive. It is. 1450, it doesn't sound like a whole lot of torque, but that's actually plenty for 80,000. Yeah. Because like, no company would make a Class 8 engine that wouldn't do 80,000 pounds. Nope, you're right. They, they just wouldn't. Right, my PT Cruiser look-alike. I think I can probably go with a taller, taller gearing as well because it's got the 500 to 1850 torque. That's that's plenty. Yep, 
we'll do the th a 308, I think. I don't know whether I want a, a light metallic or a dark metallic. We'll go with a citrus sunbursty type color. There we go. Good grief. Spending a hundred thousand dollars on um on uh upgrades to it. Seems a bit a bit excessive, but <laughs> now the X15 I definitely like to run is the 400 1650. Mhm. Mm yep, I can imagine. That's a great little highway cruiser. Yeah, I I spent a lot of time running with that um that engine and then um <clears throat> not not so much with the uh, 500, the 500 1850. But when I looked uh, online, uh, most of the ones I saw were seemed to be the 500. Right. Okay. Got my Lone Star configured. Do you have any plans to do the 400, 1450 multi-torque version? Possibly, because um, I think there's a lot of the the, the multi torques. I think my biggest issue with the multi torques is you usually can't feel them on the road that that much. Um, because it, by the time the multi torque actually kicks in, you've already built up the speed. Yeah, so I think because of of the scaling of, of 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 the game. So I've got some multi torques already, and yeah, I just don't feel it that much. So and it takes a it it takes a bit longer to get them to get them ready. One of the the, the ways that I have played around with the, with the multi torque. There's a I think it's an ISM engine that looked like you got more torque in the lower gears and less torque in the upper gears. And the idea was that when you're cruising, you would save fuel. So I I played around with that idea and it was fine. But it's like you know. The, the benefit isn't that that much and that actually probably makes more sense for it to be more torque in the low end because it, that's really what you need to get the truck rolling yes but then because the horsepower you just use that to keep your speed yeah but at the same time I mean that's why you've got a gearbox right so you can in, in, increase yeah. the torque lo lower down so I I played it. Oh, this thing feels very fast. Well, I've just come from a very low-powered Mac. Wow. Yeah, it feels like it's flying along. Right. Uh, did you choose a, a cargo all already? I have not. I'm just driving this truck around. Okay. I'm going to head to the Gark, to the uh, cargo uh, terminal place, and just All right. just um, just just turn up and see what they've got there. Okay. Not the most realistic driving to get to the uh, Gark Center. Just putting, <laughs> just putting a bit of heat into the tires. Are you in Dallas? Yes, I am. All right. I think that's where your HQ is. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This thing piles on the speed compared to the Mac. Well, mind you, you could probably walk quicker than the Mac, at least that's the way it feels sometimes. Okay, what have we got? Ooh, lots of choice. Mm. 
Uh, okay, I go from a 241 mile to a 890 mile. The 241 is close to Abilene. Um, let's see if, if we've got a double here. I can go with a with a double trailer and see what. That sounds like the perfect length because that'll probably be my last job of the night. Okay. Well, in which case that that'd be perfect then. So let's see. I've got a double tarp, sliding double tarp, and that is thirty-four thousand pounds. Um, I wonder if there's a heavier one around, a heavier trip around here. But then again, are you happy with the thirty-four thousand? Uh, I can see what else is around. Okay. Dallas, let's see here. Um, you want to try, oh. if you um, get straight up to the uh, to the cargo here, you can customize a load and you might have a different set to make. Well, hopefully you will. Yeah, let me see what I can I can grab. That looks good in white. It does. I don't even have the same jobs. Yeah. Oh, you even got um, white steel wheels. I like it. I did, yep. See what's in the surrounding cities. Doesn't sound like like there was anything interesting there. It's weird. Not really. No. Sometimes you get some great trips, and sometimes you just don't. Okay, I do have a 350 mile trip to um, Junction, which is an all-terrain crane. Seventy-seven and a half thousand pounds, but that's the super I've, long trailer. Say, I found a three hundred twenty-mile uh, flatbed of roof tiles from Huntsville to Ardmore, Oklahoma, forty-two thousand five hundred thirty-seven. That sounds perfect. I will fast travel to Ardmore. No, not. Oh, Ardmore. it's Huntsville. Not about yeah, Huntsville. Sorry. <clears throat> Oh, I farted in the back of my van today, too, when I was organizing my truck earlier. It echoed so loud, I was impressed. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds good from... I was thinking, since when does the Lone Star sound that good? And it's, no, it's because you had uh, fast-traveled at the same time. Oh, is that my truck you were hearing? Yep. Speaking of sounds, did you see uh, Slave Jerry's April Fools? No. He did a Detroit, I think it was like a 6V92 sound, but the, the sounds are like recorded with somebody's mouth. <laughs> uh, yes, I did. I didn't download it, but, but I, yeah, I, I did. I, I, I did. That was hilarious. <laughs> You know, if Zima were to do the same thing like that, he would record his mouth with like five different microphones <laughs> at different angles. <laughs> what Zmod would do is take sounds from the 80s TV shows and use those, like like the sound of the uh, A-Team van or the, yep. or the Knight Rider van. <laughs> Oops, sorry. What happened? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Seven percent happened to me. <laughs> oh, that sunset is pretty in the background. Yeah, it is. Also, that cop car was indicating right, and he went straight on. I, yeah. Or maybe it was just the sunset. 
reflecting in his uh, reflectors. Could have been. Okay, I need to be a little more patient and not and keep looking where I'm going as well. I uh, I might have bumped into the back of your Volvo. Nah, you're fine. Uh, I'm 93% fine. <laughs> Ooh, you flashed me. <laughs> when I said I wanted to be flashed, that ain't what I meant. Oh, sorry. Oopsie. <laughs> I don't know whether John is still watching, but um, a, a, a time ago we did a night run from Texas to California, and I was using the new Volvo. I think it was, I don't know if it was the 405, it was maybe the 425 or 35 t turbo compound, and we sat with cruise control on for sort of 70 most of the way, because of course it's it's um, Interstate 10. Yeah. And. Um, it was a it was a it was it was a night run. There was a full moon. It was, it was the game looked beautiful. It was such a relaxing drive. Um, oh, I bet. And I then for a few day, few maybe a couple of weeks afterwards, did that kind of night trip to and from uh, Texas to California through um, uh, New Mexico and Arizona, like those those twelve hundred mile trips. If I, that's awesome. If I could, I did them at night. But I mean, the the the, the Volvo was sort of seventy seventy five got seven and a bit to the gallon, and that was that was loaded. Um, which I didn't think was too bad. I don't know whether that's realistic from a turbo compound, but I didn't think that that was too bad at all. That's not a bad mileage at all, either way. Because even though you cruising and you've got torque gearing, you're still doing 70 miles an hour. Yeah. I like that sort of growl this engine produces at 1200 revs. Yeah, it's a nice sounding engine. Um, and I'm excited for all the other engines that um, that SCS bring. All the new ones. Oh yeah, me too, yeah. I'm going to play around with some more of the engines from um, ETS2 and pulling them into ATS. I really want a V8 engine uh, sound, so I'll, I'll, I'll try the, the Scania and the Mercedes uh, V8s. Cause I know oh, and speaking of ETS2, I did find a mod that improves the automatic transmission behavior mm -hmm. for ETS2, and it's actually amazing. Okay. Like, it'll actually short shift and everything. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I'll send you a link to it when we're done with this, and, um, yeah. You could probably go in there and take a look and see, because honestly, the shift points—I want to say—they're probably just a tad bit better than your. Oh, good. Well, well, no, that's good. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm all keen to to figure out the uh, under the hood stuff. Yeah. Not saying your shift points are bad; they're still great. But when I played with it, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" I was letting off the throttle, and it was upshifting at 1,200 RPMs in oh, some of these yeah. trucks. Yeah. You see, I can't get mine to do that. Or I haven't been able to t to get it to do it. So if there's a special source, I'd love to know what that is. Yeah, I'll definitely send you the link to that mod because that completely changed the game in ETS2 for me. Oh, that sounds really, really good. And I was like, "Ooh, David's gonna love this." Right. Forty-two and a half. So I, I don't think I can get a heavy one. Oh, maybe I can. 
Yes, I can do forty-four thousand and fifty-six pounds on a on a double. I got a little bit more power than you, and quite a bit more torque, so that might help. Uh, you got a lot more power than me. <laughs> well, yeah. Hey, uh, Norfolk Southern SD seven O ACE. Hello. Is that a hey? It's raining. Oh yeah, and I also bumped up to one hundred percent, like like I promised. Oh, that's right. So we we might be going through some storms. Wait. Probably won't be going through. Are you in a six by two or a six by four? I think I went with a six by four. Okay. So Norfolk Southern is that a reference to a train? So is that, is that a, a a train service? We we may get we're likely to get a storm here, I imagine, because if you turn it up to 100%, you, you it just doesn't stop. I know that's how it was the other day here in Florida. I was working in it; it was miserable. Yeah, sorry, it sucks. I was going, I was mud bogging down a lot of the dirt roads I go down. Mud bogging? You mean you were getting stuck in the mud, or you were, or you were spinning the wheels a lot? I was spinning the wheels a lot and. Have a little fun with it, admittedly. I get you. <clears throat> and got the cargo. Right. I see you've already made it move, so let's get out of Dodge. What have we got? So, wreck is 320 miles or five and a half hours. Well, with the gearing we got, we'll definitely be able to hit 70 and cruise nicely. I think so, yeah. I think the biggest issue is going to be bad bad weather making other traffic slow down. Yep. Yeah, as fun as the retro trucks are, it's nice to just get in something sometimes. Yes. Yeah, with a, I was just about to say that this thing feels so much more performant. Just yeah, it's got much nicer pickup. The manual's fun, but it's it's relaxing to just get in something automated every once in a while. Yep. You can just sit there and enjoy the drive and not have to worry about oh. shifting. And then some uh, some limey makes it rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if uh, I don't know whether you're the same, but um, rain, uh, not so much at night, but but well, I guess more so at night in in some ways. But rain, driving an ATS can make me feel sleepy. The the sound I know. of it. So um, yeah, it might be sensible to keep the keep the speed up a little bit here, get it up to seventy maybe. Because I mean, yep. Who, if you're going to wreck, you should be going faster rather than slower, because that way you might miss more things. Exactly. <laughs> and if you're going fast enough and you hit something, you'll go back in time. Ooh. If you hit 88 miles an hour. I don't know whether this will do 88. Well, I mean, it would if you dropped it off a cliff, but I don't know. I might, I might find out. Oh, good grief. Uh, the engine brake's a little twitchy in the wet. That's what she said. <laughs> That's not the only thing that gets twitchy when it's wet. Oh boy. Okay. Is that behind me? Is that a Volkswagen behind me? I also like the sound of the Lone Star. I mean, at first it's, it was such a weird sound, but um, I, I, I like it. It's kind of pleasant sounding. You know, I got to admit, I I used to hate the stock SCS sounds or ATS, but looking back now, they're so much better than most of the trucks stock sounds. Yes. The, the, Especially uh, after being converted to F mod. I think that the weakest one is maybe the Kem Kenworth W900, but the engine brake doesn't sound bad on that. Yeah. 
So one of my favorites though is the stock 2014 T680. Mm -hmm. I I agree. That's the reason why the T680 was my um, first truck I ever bought in the game because I liked how the engine sounded, which is incredibly vain. But uh, yep. You know, when you first start starting out and you finally manage to afford your own truck, the only one you can afford is an ISX-12 with a 10-speed. You want it to sound nice, you know? Yeah. And it has pretty much been confirmed that was a pack car, too, they recorded for that truck. Yeah. Dang. Because I've noticed, too, when the RPMs dip <clears throat> to 900, it sounds exactly like Z. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it is raining cats and dogs. Yes, sir. Get ready to turn right. Oh yeah, it's definitely yeah, it's definitely heavier. We got a night a night of rain. Right. This is definitely good sleeping weather. When I first got the game, it was a while before I drove at night, and a while before I drove it in the rain. Because I guess those those quick jobs tended to be uh, daylight ones. <clears throat> yeah. Now I, re I remember. Um, oh, oh, oh! My brakes are a little weak. Um, I remember having to pause the game and figure out what the what the keys were to turn the lights on, to turn on the wipers. Oh yeah. Because I just haven't had to use them. I mean, I mean, I'm talking several days, not not in game time, but several days of only driving in the daylight, and then suddenly you realize, wait, you can drive at night. That's cool. I know. Yeah, it's nice to to um to move off from rest, and you you aren't in first gear, and it still picks up kind of nice and solid. Yep. So this thing definitely ain't winning races compared to yours, but it's picking up. Whoa. AI car just pulled out right in front of me. Which is probably quite realistic now I think about it. Yeah. Oh, this guy's known to wreck. Let's pull out in front of him so that way I can claim some insurance money. <laughs> I'm sure that... See, I'm not sure that might go... Th yeah, that might be it. Yeah, this game doesn't have a, 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 a reputation system that you can see. Uh, but it'd be nice to uh, have a reputation something in there, you know, to see how likely you are to get stopped at a way station, all that kind of jazz. I know, I was just about to say that, like, that would be a really cool little addition to the game. But, I mean, you, you could do things like, you know, if, if you drive in California with a with a pre-2010 uh, engine, then you, you need to get fined for it, because that's not allowable. I know. Did or you just have a way to like track all your infractions over time, and if you accumulate too much, you can may have to go to like some trucking school or pay a bigger fine or something like that. Yeah, that doesn't sound like something I would enjoy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, knowing SCS, they would probably make it optional. No, I was, I, I, I was, I, I was, I, I was kidding. I think that'd be that'd be nifty. I, I, oh yeah. I would like a way to be able to um, turn up or turn down the economy. Because I think the game is a little too easy. Um, once once you've hired an, another driver, um, it, it's a, it seems a little easy because th there's a, an initial few days when they don't earn you money, but once they start to earn, you just can't spend it quickly enough. Yeah, which which is not bad. I mean, it, it but like you know, it doesn't take you long to have. 50 million in the bank, and then the game's much less of a challenge, really. <sighs> Excuse me. Got 
stuff. But that's again, like you said, one of the perks to the game being moddable. You can modify yes. the economy to. Yeah. I I've tr I'm fiddling around with that. I've I've made the, the the fuel cost like fifty times more than normal, and it, it helps. But yeah, you're right. I managed to get stuck by behind two big rigs, and now the limit's gone up to seventy five. I can't catch them. I'm at 65 and chugging along at 1100 revs. I am um, just uh, 72, I think, and about 1400 revs. So it's definitely shorter gearing than. But you're still miles ahead of me. Yeah, pretty much spot on f uh, 1400 at 70, maybe like 1380 or something. You got 22 inch or 24 inch tires? 22s. Ah, uh, okay. I, I thought about um, the 24s, but I, it just seems to be so fussy for me to get to get the things set up. I've got to go through and find all the tires. I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go with with the 22s. I'd possibly still be trying to configure it if, if I tried to switch to 24s. Because, <laughs> to be fair, um, I've got to get the right lug nuts, I've got to get the right hub caps, and it's got to all be chrome, it's got to all match, you know. But yep. uh, but yours looks great, and I'm guessing that those that those are 24 then. But but with the white paint, those wheels look fantastic. Uh it's a 22. Okay. Yeah, 264 overdrive with 24 inch. That's gonna be a little too tall. It would be pretty tall, yeah. But then again, it. I mean, at at 70, you'd be doing what? Um, 1,050 revs. 900 maybe? revs. <laughs> which which the TC will do. Yeah, it's probably a little more ideal to just keep the RPMs up a little bit higher than. Yes. Yeah. But uh, so you could you could drive a seventy-five and do a thousand reps. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, this thing is. I mean, that's what the Mac MP8 AT with that super direct transmission does. It's like the one ninety-five ratio. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes, yeah, so I've got my cruise pegged at seventy, and it's fourteen hundred revs, and it's um. It's not unhappy at this speed, it, but I dare say my mileage will be quite a bit higher than yours. Sorry, I'll be using more fuel, I guess, lower miles per gallon numbers. Yeah. Right now I'm getting 6.6, 6.7 now. Is that your overall average? or Average right now, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to... Well, 5.3. So it, it's quite a bit heavier than, uh, quite a bit thirstier than than yours. So yeah, there's a huge difference there. Yeah, I guess it's a, it's a bigger engine. It can burn more fuel because it's more powerful and shorter gearing and slightly heavier cargo, but not by much. Yep. So oh, I got called in. Me too. I guess we're about to find out how much heavier, or, or not. This engine brake's pretty dang powerful, too. I still think the most powerful one I've experienced in this game, though, is that MB-1000 engine brake. Uh, it is pretty much, yeah. That's like a factor of three, I think. I think when you look at um, Detroit Diesel's numbers, it's 650 brake braking horsepower at um, I want to say 2,000 revs. I that's mean, absolutely insane. Which is now that's with the optional turbo brake and the engine or e e exhaust brake. Yeah. But I figured, you know what? If you're gonna have an MBE and one of its key things is its engine brake is amazing, then yes, you're gonna take that option. Uh, eighty thousand five hundred and seventy-nine pounds. How's it seventy-six thousand something? Dang, four thousand pounds heavier. Mind you, I've got my lunchbox with me. <laughs> Actually, you know, it might be because I've 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 got a double, maybe, and there's quite a bit extra weight for the second yeah. trailer, perhaps. That and the Lone Star is probably heavier than this Volvo too. Yeah, it's supposed to be a a, a heavy truck. 
or it's known probably to be why they never probably why they don't offer it with the A26 because that motor probably just wouldn't be able to drive that or drive that truck. Mm, yeah. Either that. Which, funny enough, you could have gotten the Max 14 in the older. This. Well, I wonder if it's just to try and keep it at that 15 litre premium thing. Maybe. That is true. That and that truck is aimed toward operator anyway. And yeah. A lot of trucker trucking industry people know owner operators typically don't go for the third. Yeah, because because otherwise they'd just work for someone and, and and deal with the 12 or 13 liter, I guess. Yeah. Although um, I followed a YouTube channel uh, for us for a time, and the guy was just starting out, and he bought himself a Mac Anthem with the MP8, which is the 13 liter. Um, and it, it was a all black one. It looked really nice. Oh, I think you remember you telling me about that. Yeah, it's all, it was like a limited edition or yes. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw pictures of one of those trucks like that. That that thing was slick. It's like that. It looks nice, and he's he's like, yeah, you know, I get like seven point something to the gallon. It, it's only a thirteen liter, but he got the the, the five hundred and five model, so it's eighteen fifty torque with an with an M drive, and he's like. You know what? It's not. It, it, it's it's not a manual. I don't care. But yeah, it looked really nice. Come on, Camaro. Why are you holding me up? Oh, and now you accelerate. Oh, the rain's eased off a little for me, but it's still coming down. Yeah, it's definitely coming down on me too. This must be Dallas. Oh, we're going towards Denton. Yep. I recognize this part of Dallas. Turn right. Keep right, and then turn right. I am most intrigued to look for this transmission um, fix. Why well, should be something simple by just having a super low upshift point in the low range and then setting the uh, power range super high? Yeah, it might be, but then it would only work if you have adaptive turned on. Um, yeah, because for this uh, transmission fix, you have to have it set to normal power or high performance oh, okay. mode. All right. Well, in which case, yeah, that 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 would make sense. Yeah, so so that 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 would work. You would, uh, as you say, your your normal mode will, will range bind it to um, maybe say 800 to 1250 or whatever it was, and then your power mode will, will give it the, the full rev range. That would that should do it. But it's it it sounds fussy to to set it up. Make sure that you're in power mode, not in balance mode. And economy mode will completely ruin it because your truck won't won't exceed like 1200 revs. Or yeah. 1250 or whatever the range is. If it has an MP8 HE, it will, but other engines, you're not going to want to do... Like, if you get in a 6V92 with the economy <laughs> mode that yeah. applied yeah. to it, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's a really... It's a neat way of working it. Um, that that would make it work great. Yeah, because anytime yeah. I use that mod, I, I just let off the throttle or ease off on the throttle, and it'll automatically upshift everything. So I wonder if you can force... Force it to use the performance mode. Hmm. It might depend where you put it in the model list. Interesting. You've got me thinking now. Which is never a good thing. <laughs> so 
is kind yeah, of... and anytime I'm using that mod and I want to do a kick down, it'll rev to the full range. Everything. Yep. Yes, it will. Yeah, because yeah, that would that would make make sense. Or if you if you come to a hill, there might be a little jarring because you might like if you ever ever had it kicked down because you've come to a hill and suddenly it's using full revs. But then again. Treat. I wonder if you can tweak. I, I'm thinking to myself, but I'm thinking out out loud, which is, like I say, never a good thing. <laughs> Rain's gotten heavier for me again. Yep, same here. But I'm, um, I'm tracking behind you. I'm guessing you're doing 65 still, maybe. Yes, sir. Yep, I thought so. set my cruise at 70 and I'm drifting all over the road but slowly catching up with you which is perfect I'll say you know you're tired when you're driving below the speed limit <laughs> or, you, or, or, or your um, low gas lights come on and you really want to make it home or, or to your favorite gas station or yep it's 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 late at night and you want to do like 65 and a 75 limit yeah Makes sense. Well, I should look at the external view of this truck because I think it's got loads of chicken lights. Yep, I got a Can't few. Can't ever have too many of those. Yeah, I got a few, but I could certainly have more. Oh, I gotta get weight again. I've got a bypass, but I'm I'm still gonna I'm I'm gonna follow you so that we can convoy it when we arrive. It's my fuel status. Well, loads of fuel. I'll say I barely use a quarter tank. Yeah, I'm. Um, I guess I've used an eighth of a tank because I'm like halfway between a quarter, three quarters, and and, and full, which makes sense because this thing has a 280 gallon tank. And I'm averaging 7.2 miles to the gallon right now. Oh, 5.8. 5.8. That's really good. 15. Yeah, but I mean. It's like a one. It's nearly one and a half less than you. That's a big difference. Big difference. I should do better than, than this. I'm surprised Comments hasn't tried to do an X13 yet. Yeah, and they're going to replace the X12 with the X10, so they're going to go even smaller. Yep. Are they replacing the L9 with that too? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to like just. I don't. I think. Well, I guess it's going to be a medium-duty engine as well as a heavy-duty engine. Yeah, because it's going to have a rating of 450 up to 1650 torque. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Wish I would release a torque curve so you can go ahead and create <laughs> it. Right. I would imagine it would be close to an X15 efficiency. So I imagine it would peak, or it would reach full torque at around about a thousand, I would imagine, depending on the version. Yeah. I got a, a reminder to do the X15N engines at some point. They're a, oh, the natural gas? Yes. They're a little different to the turbo diesels. They actually have more torque at 800 revs and less torque at a thousand. That's because of the differences in the torque curve. Hmm. Yeah, I was, I, I, I'm like, is that legit? But yes. And I imagine it's just because of the way that the engine is. But how often are you going to use 800 revs? Well, 
every time you move off, I, I imagine. Yeah. You're making me on. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm all for natural gas engines. I produce enough of it to fill one up, so... Yeah, but I imagine having the hose pipe from out, out the window would probably ruin the aerodynamics. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it'll be alright, but I don't know. One of these, I, I love these junctions. I'd never experienced one of these till I drove them in SCS. And uh, there's actually one that I sometimes have to use on the road. I guess I don't get out much. And thank goodness I'd had a bit of practice on them. Is is kind of how it felt. <laughs> Yeah, good grief, that was quick. That's what she said. Well, hopefully she was smiling about it. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm still sitting at an average of 5.8. Which, it's not terrible, I suppose, but... I, I guess that's what happens when uh, I, I'm not that aggressive in in traffic. So when there's there's a couple of vehicles in the way, I, I'll hold back, and then I'll try and make up distance by running at 75 to catch you. That's probably what burns a lot of fuel. Yeah. Well, that, and I'm sure this thing could take a 285 or 279 with an overdrive, I think. Oh, yeah, the, a lot of the international LTs I find for sale have 264 overdrive 10 speeds wow. with yeah. the X15. And that's, that's only with 10, that's with 10 speeds. I mean, that just goes to show that the X4 is, X10 even, X15, good grief, is obviously strong enough that it doesn't need, you know, 18 gears. Yep. Right. I'm curious to how much fuel did you burn? Uh God, I didn't even pay attention to that. Two gallons. Yep, 5.8, which, eh, it's not bad. Cool. Yeah. Well, if this is the last trip for the night, I'm going to go ahead and. It uh, is. I'm going to go ahead and, um, I guess, uh, say goodnight to everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Some realistic driving for you. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the invite. You're welcome. I appreciate it. And, um,. We'll catch everyone in the next one. Thank you so much.